G'day guys, this is my first air fryer recipe video, but there is gonna be plenty more. I am loving it. I can't wait to share with you. And the last recipe I'm gonna be sharing is how to cook a chicken in the air fryer. It turned out so moist, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that. Let's get into it. The first meal I wanted to share with you is salmon. So this makes a great weeknight meal. First off, just cut your salmon into smaller pieces so that they're not one big slice of salmon. And then here Dave's seasoning with salt and pepper, just a generous amount. Then Dave's using some canola spray and just spraying the air fryer so that the skin of the salmon doesn't stick to it. And then he's put it in there for six minutes at 180 degrees and depending on how well cooked you want your salmon whether you want it a bit more like sushi or fully cooked will depend how long you cook it for you put it in for 180 degrees at six to eight minutes depending on how much you want it cooked and that is 360 degrees fahrenheit And this is a meal the whole family likes and salmon is so good for us. And then we just have a ton of mashed potatoes. So the longest component of this dish is cooking the mashed potatoes. And then on the side there, we've got pak choy as well. Bacon in the air fryer is the only way we cook bacon now. It is so simple. So just putting the bacon in the air fryer, this is shortcut bacon, but we've also done it with rashes of bacon. So I'm just putting them in there. I'm putting them into the air fryer, 200 degrees or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for seven minutes. And then that's it. And what's awesome about this is it's all contained. So all the oils are contained. And with this dish, we're going to be having eggs and toast. And I just did this in the pie maker i love the pie maker if you've been around on my channel for a while i've got a whole video on all the things that i've made in the pie maker eggs and toast in the pie maker because i didn't want to get the toaster out as well and then if you want extra crispy bacon like dave did here for another five minutes put it on 200 degrees celsius or 390 degrees fahrenheit and there you go that's for your real crispy bacon honestly with the air fryer i don't think you can really go wrong just keep checking it the next thing I have been doing and I've shared in my grocery hauls is sausages in the air fryer. So first off with every sausage, this is just the eight pack. I'm going to pierce with a fork, try and do each sausage twice. And today I'm going to actually be making this into curried sausages, but I have also done it with, you know, sausages in bread. It's much easier than getting the barbecue going. So I put it in for 180 degrees Celsius, which is 360 degrees Fahrenheit roughly for five minutes before turning it all over and putting it on again for another five minutes at the exact same temperature. And then these ones were done, but do still check them, cut them in half um, and make sure they're cooked. It'll depend on the thickness of the sausage and your air fryer. So with these ones, what I love about when you cut into it, it has a really crispy skin on the sausages. It is just delicious and they're ready to go. It is just so simple. And then what I did was I chopped them all up because like I said, I was making this into curried sausages. The recipe base I love to use is this Master Foods curried sausages. It just is the same flavor every time and turns out really well. Curried sausages are an absolute family favorite in our home. I couldn't share an air fryer video without sharing potatoes. So here Dave's chopping up sweet potato. We've done it with sweet potato and white potato. I do really find though, as you can see here, he's cutting them quite thick. So they're really kind of thick like fingers. And that is better. When I've made it more um, French fries, they just were so inconsistent. It just was really tricky for it to kind of cook and they all kind of mixed together. So I have definitely found that doing this kind of finger thickness chips works really well in the air fryer. Here Dave's seasoning with vegetable oil and then he's just putting some chicken stock in it as well and just mixing it really well. He actually mixed it quite a bit so that they were fully coated with the chicken salt. And then he put it in the air fryer. He didn't preheat it 200 degrees for six minutes. So that's 390 degrees Fahrenheit for six minutes before taking it out and giving it a really good shake. For chips, we tend to do this about every five to six minutes. And then it was put on again for another six minutes. And he ended up doing that three times. And then he did this dish with salmon and beans. Like I said, salmon's an absolute favorite in our house.
The last recipe I'm so excited to share with you. My neighbor actually told me all about this. She says she gets the chickens from Aldi. So this is around the $6 chicken, she said. So it's 1.5 kilograms. So it's $3.49. So it's cheaper than buying the rotisserie chicken. And then what she said was when she first did it, she put the chicken in like this and the legs sprung up. And so what she did is she used some um, kitchen string to try it. So she tied them together so their legs didn't spring up. And then she discovered if you actually just put it flat down like I have there, then the legs can't go anywhere. So that's what I did. It works so well. And the seasoning I'm just using here is just roast chicken seasoning that I had in the pantry. And I just coated both sides. I haven't worried about stuffing. We don't eat stuffing even when we get stuffed chooks. So I didn't even bother with that. And I didn't add any oil. It's just as is that she does is 170 degrees which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit and she checks it at that 50 minute mark she doesn't do anything else in between that time she checks it at the 50 minute mark and she says she often has to put it in for another five minutes so I decided to do exactly what she said and I agree I put it in for another five minutes then I turned it off and I let it rest in there for 10 minutes before I cut into it and I cannot believe how well this chicken turned out and how inexpensive it was too that's cheaper than the rotisserie chickens that you buy at the supermarket and for under an hour to have a cooked chicken is pretty amazing and this is all the fat that was drained from the bottom of the air fryer i also cannot believe how moist this chicken is it is sensational check to see that it was cooked and hot in the middle and all the chicken breast was cooked and then i also made sure that the liquids ran clear and then in person the chicken looked really white but it wasn't really picking that up so that's why I put the bananas there just to help with the focusing of the camera but it was cooked so well and as you can see it is just steaming it's just delicious and for dinner that night I served it with some falafels that I just made from a packet yogurt chips and veggies delicious guys if you've stuck around this long, I just wanted to share with you some videos that I've got. So I've done a what's for dinner previously and I've done a marathon. So I've put all those timestamps just like this video in the description box so you can click to the specific recipe that you want and I've also done the same with the pie maker marathon and just recently I've been doing some really simple family meals. So I'll pop them here for you. Thanks heaps for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider joining in. Say g'day in the comments. You might also like to watch these other videos I'll put up here for ya. What's for dinners, pie maker recipes. Take care, bye.